real quick before we dive into this episode of the podcast. Be sure to grab your free PDF copies of my latest books at frugal.show forward slash free. Now on to the show. Welcome to the Frugalpreneur podcast. I am your host, Sarah St. John. This episode is what I refer to as a showcase episode where I feature a bootstrapped entrepreneur and they briefly share their tips, tricks, tactics, techniques, and tools that help them bootstrap their business and the successes and failures along the way. My hope is that each of these showcase episodes will provide at least one valuable takeaway that you can implement right away in your own bootstrap business journey. Now on to the episode. Hey Sarah, I'm Ken Countess. I loved listening to a few episodes of your podcast. I spent over 25 years in corporate America working at some very well-known names, Motorola, Caremark, which is now CVS, Marriott, and a company that's now part of Honeywell. I've been in marketing my entire career. But back in 2010, after I left the last of the Fortune 100 companies, I was recruited by Constant Contact to become part of a national network of 300 people to teach businesses how to do digital marketing. Because so many business owners are probably great at selling, but they're not quite sure how to do marketing the right way. Because email marketing delivers a 36 to 1 return on investment, it is far and away the best marketing tool out there. So what made me start my business is I started delivering these one-on-one and group presentations and found I really enjoyed teaching people how to do business. So that's what got me started, and I've been a consultant all that time. I basically started my business from scratch. I had the luxury or benefit of having Constant Contact's brand back me up. I got the training I needed to be able to teach marketing effectively, created a lot of PowerPoint presentations, and basically practiced, practiced, practiced until I was able to communicate the value that email marketing brings to a business. And that's what got me started. I think my biggest success in bootstrapping my business was that I just kept at it, just kept going, no matter how frustrating it might have been to to try to get things off the ground. The first paychecks were pretty small, $50, $100, maybe $500. And ultimately, it turned into a five-figure monthly business. And the biggest failure has been that I just sometimes get a little bit lazy. I think we all do sometimes. And it's just a matter of picking yourself up and just saying, you know, today's a new day. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to help make someone successful. I was just being consistent and not always trying to sell. Nobody opens up their email inbox in the morning and says, I can't wait to buy something out of my email inbox. So the best tips and tricks are to make sure that when you're marketing your business, you're just marketing it. You're not always trying to sell. You're just trying to build relationships with your prospects and clients and inviting them into your world by teaching them how to do business in a way that makes people feel good about doing business with you. Just get started. It doesn't matter how big your list is. No business started out with an enormous list with lots and lots of revenue. Just start wherever you are and build your list consistently. Communicate with your audience. Let them know you're out there. Let them know that you are there to serve. Your call to action should be keep listening. Keep watching your inbox. I will offer you tips and tricks in order to be a better marketer. For someone who would like to get started working with me, go to kenisemail.com slash packages. kenisemail.com slash packages. I also offer a free trial of Constant Contact, and I offer free training to help you get started. And you can go to a very special link. It's www.completelyfreetrial.com. 
www.completelyfreetrial.com. www.completelyfreetrial.com. That'll get you started. I hope you enjoyed that episode and were able to take away a valuable nugget of information that you can implement right away in your own business. If you feel your story would be valuable for the listeners of this show, please visit frugal.show forward slash guest. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you haven't already, don't forget to grab your free PDF copies of my latest books at frugal.show forward slash free. Until next time.